Yeah. Uh, Cub, what the hell is this? <laughs> I'm a space pirate. Yeah, we're gonna fly a plane. Well, not really fly. Okay, it's not a plane. Actually, it's a spaceship. <laughs> That's my spaceship. It's this black one. The one on the right is the Rebel Headquarters, Rebel Mothership. I guess they do call it the Mothership, but it's full of dirty humans, which actually I have some renegade humans on my ship too, but I also have uh, some other aliens that are not too taken with the rebels trying to take over this sector of the galaxy. So it's called Faster Than Light. It's a game on my iPad. Obviously, that's weird, dude. Yeah, it's my iPad. So... Let's play some faster than light. So if you look over at the rebel mothership, I got two dudes in the top left compartment there and they're busting up the hull of the uh, ion cannon on that ship. I already killed their missiles, which is the, uh, their, all the can, all the guns of the mothership are on the top. It's the third one from the left. So that's basically what you want to do on this. This is the last like level of the game, but there's so many different playthroughs. I'm not really ruining anything. Um, so this is what you want to do when you, it's, there's three phases. So in the first phase, you want to teleport your crew into the missile compartment and destroy that. So, cause the missiles can just shoot through your shield um, and kill you. My guy has those four blue dots at the top. I have four layers of shields and I have a full health bar, that's my health bar at the top, that green bar. Um, so you want to kill that, and then you want to kill the ion cannon, and then you want to kill their beam weapon, which is their far right weapon. And you just like leave their laser gun, which is the second gun from the top, because that like it only shoots three, and I have four shields. So basically once, that's, once I've disabled all their weapons, and it can't do anything, at least on this first phase, it has like no other weapons that it can use um one thing it does do is send like a hacking drone so you kind of got to get lucky because this is the advanced mode so it has extra weapons if you look on my ship that like purple freaking robot that's attached to the bottom left there it's attached to my it, it'll disable a system see it just electrocuted it and it disabled my doors which is probably like one of the best systems it could disable because i don't need my freaking doors doors are to stop intruders and fire from moving around your ship so that's all good. I don't need doors on this face. So I got super lucky. If it like disables your engine, for example, then like you can't evade missiles and you'll just get hammered. Or if it disables your shield, then you're screwed. So if it just does that, then you got to drop your small bomb in on the um, on their system, that little computer looking thing that controls the hacking robot and disable that. But it's hard because what you want to do is disable their shield and not have to worry about their hacking robots. So you gotta get a little bit lucky on this first level. Um, uh, so what I use is a small bomb, drop it on their shield, hit him with my lasers and my beam weapon, and then it's done. Uh, which I'll do right now. They're, they have like, the little guys are like, they got their wrenches and they're trying to like, fix the shield as I'm like, dropping bombs in on them. So, Right there, you can see I just like destroyed that dude. And I destroyed some of their crew too, which I'll talk about in a second. You wanna to try to kill, go into the third phase, as much of their crew as you can, but leave one guy remaining. That's kind of like the star, I was like a quick picture of the star map. It's not really important right now, but if you play the full game, then you'll, you'll like fly around those little zones. Um, so this is phase two, the mothership is like beat up now, but it's kind of the same thing. Uh, I just teleported my guys into the missile room. You can see they're in that, uh, now it's the second from the left, I guess, compartment. And they're blowing that up. I wanna, I wanna kill the missiles. Now the ship has sent a buttload of little flying attack drones, which are like hovering around my ship. And it also sent uh, these robots. So it sent robots in to fight me. And they're like, hold, they like come in, they like destroy the hole. So they suck up all the oxygen in the room, so your dude's like dying, and the freaking robot's like killing him. So they're hard, they're pretty hard to kill. They're like little Terminator dudes. But I have a secret weapon. I have a clone bay. So you can switch out your, as you're flying through the galaxy, you can switch out your clone bay for a healing bay. And then, excuse me, I have the backwards. You can switch out your healing bay for a clone bay, and then when your guy dies, he just gets regenerated in the clone bay. The only caveat is that he 
comes out a little dumber than he went in. <laughs> so they made a copy of him, but he kind of forgets stuff. You know, he forgets how to fly the plane a little bit. He forgets how to shoot the lasers. Anyways, his skills go down, but it's like, it's minimal. It doesn't matter. At first I didn't use it because I was like, I don't want my like expert captain to lose his skills. It doesn't matter. Mediocre captain's better than having no captain that's totally dead. <laughs> So, same thing with this guy, I'd kill the missiles, kill the shields, try to kill as much of the crew as I can. If you kill all of their crew, like, you wipe out the whole thing, uh, all of the humans on the ship, you don't win. Like, normally you win in the other few other ships. What happens is, in the third phase, somehow they've all regenerated, and I have to fight a buttload of them. Anyways, I think the uh, mothership has one dude left. Or, no, it has two dudes left, so one guy's gonna teleport. However many extra guys they have, they'll teleport over into your ship, and they'll, uh, they'll try to rape you while you're sleeping. No, they, they, they get teleported into your ship, and they'll just fight you. So, the third phase is way harder. Alright, they got, like, uh, this green shield. It's called, like, a... I don't know, it's escaping me right now, the name. Anyways, it's a green shield, it regenerates. You can use your beam weapon to destroy it. Normally, your beam weapon has no effect on shields, but you can use your beam weapon to destroy it. The thing with this phase is that you can't teleport. So I can't teleport my crew into there and just destroy their ship. Um, otherwise, I just there's no one left on their ship, right? I just teleport all eight dudes in there and just rape the whole thing. No, you can't. And you can't use your small bomb either, which is like, like your little mine that gets just like it just like kind of appears inside their ship. Like teleport, you're basically teleporting a bomb in, onto their ship. Uh, you can't use that either uh, until the green shield's down. You can't teleport humans at all or people at all, but you can't teleport your bomb until the shield is down. So you gotta kill the shield, teleport bombs in there. All the while, it's like doing what it calls a. Uh, Power surge? Power surge! <laughs> it's shooting lasers at me right now. But you'll see up above my ship, it'll say, Power surge detected right there. See, now I'm starting to get hit with missiles. So this is the first time I actually started taking damage, which is pretty freaking good. I didn't even take any hull damage till the third round. Um, but I just barely have even got their, uh, their shield, their green shield down. Now it's shooting power surge at me. Luckily I was cloaked. Like, if you're not cloaked, and those like eight missiles hit you, you're in bad shape. Especially if uh, you can't like, because uh, you gotta worry about attacking their ship. You gotta kill their ship before it kills you, obviously. And you have to put out fires, they've got holes in your thing. I'll show you in a second, my ship gets kind of bashed up here. Um, right there, I just took another missile, so I got a hole in the hole in my engine room. Dude's gonna suffocate to death while he's trying to fix it. <laughs> this game's pretty cool like that. There's a whole dynamic with oxygen and fire too, like, Whoa! <laughs> See, if I wasn't cloaked right there, I'd have been done. I'd have been game over right there for sure. I'd have been totally out. It just broke my ship in half. There's a whole dynamic with oxygen and fire, and you can like open compartments to the space to deoxygenate the room, and it'll put out the fire. But then, obviously, your guy will die if he has no oxygen. So. Um, and also on this level, there, if you see that flashing the, on the enemy ship, there's like a flashing blue room with that looks like a seashell, a blue seashell that's flashing. That's the mind control. So it can tell one of your crew members to go homicidal and he'll start killing all of your other crew members. And once he kills all the other crew members, then he'll start shooting the ship itself. So that's kind of another thing that's added into the advanced mode that you have to deal with. I think cloaking, hacking, and uh, the mind control are the three like main things that they add. Oh, they added new weapons too. So yeah, these power surges, luckily I'm, I'm timing my cloaks well and uh, dodging them all. But uh, if you don't do that, this level is really hard. The main, the best way to do it if you don't have a cloak is, is to just, like if you have a ship with superior firepower, then just try to just kill it down as quick as you can. Like flak weapons, to bust, like shield busting weapons, multi-lasers, or if you have just like equip your ship with like all lasers, and just have like, shoot like 10 lasers at it at once and just get it done. Um, that's pretty much the only way to do it, because even disabling the ship's systems, it'll still shoot that power surge thing at you. But yeah, this game's pretty cool. It's like 9 bucks, I think, 10 bucks on your iPad. But the replay value is huge. There's like 10 ships, there's three versions of each ship, and uh, you can play through it like a bunch of different times and not even, you know, scratch the surface. You have to, un you have to get achievements to unlock the next ship, and... 
it's pretty cool. No playthrough will be the same either. You'll always end up with a different crew with a different um, stuff at the end. It's just a lot of it's random chance. It's kind of like it's Final Fantasy or something. You know, like you encountered this enemy, and he gives you this certain thing. So you never know like what you're gonna get at the end. Um, sometimes I'll end up with the best weapon in the game, which is like this uh, crazy beam weapon, and sometimes I'll never even see it, and I just end up like I still have the mini beam, which is what I started with. Anyways, their whole ship's on fire. I got a stealth cruiser victory, bro. So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed Space Pirate Cub out.